foundation of my work is textile and it is being inspired by these two iconic gigantic fabric weave in part of west africa one of them is from nigeria which is called ashoki and the second one is kente which you find in ashanti region from ghana and all these two fabrics were used as a kind of statement a kind of communication and if we, i call myself as an artist we everything we do is beyond just beauty but at the same time, it's a statement, it's a conversation, it's about what we are telling about ourselves, what is going on day-to-day -day activities of ourselves. So I started for so many years, of almost five years, looking for thread of my own brand, of what I can use. And finally, I found what I was looking for, which is the shape of people. This is what you are going to see, that you see that I lay them in kind of layers and layers and then becomes what it becomes. And when you said the weaving, the intricate of it, it's just to talk about community, talk about ourselves, how we integrate each other, how we intermarriages, how we live from one place to the other, how we travel and how we live where we are born and create a new home. It's just all about we as people, as our life, as we are. We're community and family. I look for particular materials, materials which are very close to home, which people have used, have thrown away. It may be in the decade, it may be in the 50s, in the 60s. I bring it back as kind of education to tell us where we are coming from, where we are and where we are going. And that this becomes very conversation with people quickly when they see my work to draw them quickly. Maybe I'm talking about race, it may be I'm, I'm talking about gun violence, it may be I'm talking about health or water or education. So this will comes with what did I see particularly important materials that will come closer. Even if it is like I'm talking about gun violence, it's violent but at the same time I want to feel like uh, this is beauty, the way I'm going to put it together. Draw you closer, then attention gradually, you continue seeing what materials are used. And then you don't think of that violence anymore, but you start thinking of what the conversation that is he going to give us. For me, is to be able to see how can I change the society that I'm living in? How can I contribute to development? To see what is going on that they don't see. And it will be the voice for people who could not really have voices.